Welcome to See Me Here, where you come for all your media needs. My name is Ray. It's your boy, Nikki Tay Tay. And today we are reviewing the movie, Proud Mary. Proud Mary, keep on burning. Starring Taraji P. Henson, directed by Bob Nashafi. The director, Bob Nashafi, previously directed London Has Fallen. So essentially what we have here is a female shaft uh, trying to go through the movie, give us a little bit of combat dazzled here. Uh, I feel like it's very... Pam Grier-esque. Proud Mary is slated to be an action thriller. Uh, despite being not very thrilling and limited action scenes in the movie, it is okay. You know, you have a strong, or what appeared to be a strong soundtrack starting right off the bat with uh, Tina Turner's Proud Mary. And then somewhere in the middle of the opening credits, it kind of just lulls. Going into this movie, I thought the ceiling was at least an 8 or a 9. And I thought the floor was probably about a 3 going off the trailer. That's fair. I mean, in the trailers, they had explosions, time bombs. It was shootouts, uh, people dying at a poker game. It was amazing. I'm like, oh, okay, Taraji is giving her best atomic blonde. You know, we got atomic yeah. afro in the building. Shout out, 2018. Uh, I I'm excited, just like you. Yeah, I was excited until I actually watched the movie. Oh, that's when the movie became disappointing, Mary. The movie was just like the trailer in the sense that you went from scene to scene to scene to scene. Too fast. Very fast paced Absolutely movie. Absolutely too fast. Not enough build up. A lot of just quick scene to quick scene to quick scene. Very predictable story. You see every move that happened before it happened. Like come on. Like this is 2018. We don't need cheesy predictable writing. You already have what appeared to be a black phenomenal lead actress. Yes. I in know. a movie with a ton of action. Give us that. Deliver that. And that's my biggest problem with the movie. That it didn't have enough action. I feel like the trailer really gave up everything that we've seen in the movie. And then stuff that we didn't even see in the movie. That's true. I really thought this was going to be a fast paced, high action, over the top thriller. But it was none of those things. It was fast paced, but not in the way that we actually wanted it to be. Yeah, too fast. And then when most of the scenes are just frames of the outside of her apartment, it's like, come on. With only $14 million budget, you can actually see during the movie, like, yeah, I can see where they cut cost that. Because there's some scenes where people die, you don't even see a gun fired, you don't see a person move, nothing. So let's talk a little bit more about the story. I can tell you right now, the reason why the story started is not the reason why the story ended. Watching this movie, I wanted a whole lot more assassination attempts and or assassinations. Yeah, exactly. I mean, cause what is she in the trailer? Who the hell are you? I'm Mary. A hit woman, an assassin, uh, a ninja. We don't know. We don't know. We just know she's killing people. And in the movie, we really didn't get that. For her killing so much in this movie, you would think that she wouldn't be so emotional about what was going on. But you can really tell in the movie that she was shook during certain events in the movie that happened. Now, I will say, despite the terrible, terrible screenplay... Uh, the terrible script that was given. The acting was okay. Taraji P. Henson delivered, I thought, a phenomenal character. I agree 100%. Uh, for the first time, Danny Glover wasn't the lethal weapon in this movie. It was the script. A very serviceable performance by Danny Glover. And I would de definitely say Taraji did a great job as well. And that's one bright spot of the movie that you could tell that she was doing a great job at the bad script that they gave her. And I don't know if she knew how bad the script was going in, but she did a good job in her role in the movie. Now that is the down spot of the movie. It's just the writing. The story goes in a place where it doesn't really need to go. It's too fast paced and just all around not as exciting as what you would expect in the trailer. And I really, really, really wanted to like this movie. I was going in with a very open mind and I was saying, please Taraji, I need you to step in and I need you to take over this movie and be great. Now she was great, but it wasn't enough to recover this terrible movie. I was telling you, I actually thought this was going to be a sleeper movie for 2018. I really wanted it to be more like Columbiana or Atomic Blonde, but I really got neither of those when it comes to the action or the pacing in this movie. What would have been nice with this movie is to give us a little more of the backstory on how Taraji, uh, or Proud Mary, her character, became so skilled at killing people. They kind of just glossed over that whole point, like, yeah, you were trained, but they didn't really tell us how she was trained. And maybe that would have flushed out the movie a little bit more. Maybe they took a little bit more time and gave us more about Proud Mary and also showing us more of her actually being the assassin that we thought she was going to be in this movie, then maybe the movie would have been a lot better. But this really turned out to be more of a babysitting movie 
than in Dig Out. <laughs> it's Home Alone with the one black parent and still the missing dad. <laughs> it's almost more like the movie Kid Now with Holly Berry. To me personally, this was supposed to be a good stepping stone for black films leading into 2018. There's been a pickup of a lot more black films in the last few years. You can definitely tell black is in in the entertainment business. Boy, with all the excitement over Black Panther coming in February, this is the year that black actors and actresses should be reclaiming their roles as leading characters on the big screen. It's starting to feel more like the 90s, and that's a good thing. But we need to capitalize on making good movies, and I can tell you right now, this wasn't one of them. Proud Mary just fails to live up to the expectations we, as African Americans, have on our actors and actresses on the big screen. We want them to be a lot better, and they can be. Proud Mary didn't live up to it, but Taraji has definitely more films coming out that can definitely make up for this bad movie. Definitely. And this isn't your only opportunity to make us proud, but this is definitely not a good way to start off the year. I'm glad we got Black Panther to look forward to. I think with all that said, I'm going to have to give this movie a 4.6. Again, great acting from the leading people, Taraji P. Henson, Danny Glover, but not enough meat on the script of the story to make me want to see a Proud Mary 2. Leaving the theater, I actually was going to give this movie a 5. But after talking to Nikki Tate a little bit more about it, you can't give anything a 5 unless you want people to actually go out and watch it. So I'm going to give this movie a 4.75. It's a movie that you shouldn't check out, but it's a movie that if it's on TV, go ahead and watch it. Oh, and if you just want to support African Americans, then be my guest. So that completes the review for Proud Mary. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as always, don't forget, you've seen it here. Uh, this is definitely a movie you should show them. What? Taraji P. Henson and the Orchestra. Yeah, but I can get some jokes in it. Yeah! I think, but you gotta do that with the I, I don't gotta do that first. I can get some jokes in it. They ain't going to that. That's a show. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna go in on the back? Yeah, I do. Let me get the jokes. I'll let you get jokes. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to laugh at the joke. If I, if I can say it. This is definitely a movie you don't want to leave your job in the city for. Uh, <laughs> what? Because it's a lie. It's a lie. Let the man job in the city. Yeah, nobody getting that. Why are you getting it? Some old heads getting it. Okay. Old heads getting it. I'm getting with it. a joke here. I'm like, no, right now, that shit's not hitting. What? It's not hitting. Yeah, I mean, so. yeah, you gotta go with the song. You gotta, you gotta. <laughs> okay. You gonna, find, you gonna find a place to cut it in. It's gonna be cut out. <laughs> it's gonna be the blues. <laughs> the blues. Uh, <laughs> the blues. <laughs> hey, that's no money. That's no money. I'll take that. Uh, Starring Taraji P. Henson, directed by Bob Nashafi. <laughs> I'm like, you're out of here. Bob stupid. You're out of here. It's all so white. <laughs> yeah, I'm in mean, bright. It's all just. My audition for Bright, my name is Jeff Shopping. Just keep repeating it over and over Essentially what we have here is a female shaft. Uh, I feel like it's very Pam Greer-esque, mm -hmm. but we know it's Taraji P. Henson, and I'm just waiting for her to tell Jody to come back in here she got the tacos ready. I mean, half the movie, I'm wondering why is Cookie out here fighting these bad guys? Like, shouldn't she be somewhere making boss moves? For this to be a movie with Taji P. Henson being an assassin. What'd you call her? Taji. I always fuck. I ain't gonna say her name. Yeah, it's Taraji. Taraji. I, I always mess it up though. Yeah, yeah. I, you, I, let, I let it go earlier, but I was like, yeah, I can't let it go twice. <laughs> I said her name earlier. Yeah, yeah. Don't let me do it. Yeah. Going into the movie, seeing that Taji. See? It's just a happy presence. <laughs> Wasn't even close. <laughs> it was an R. It's an whole ass so, R. Taraji. Yeah, no H. <laughs> hey, no H. I'm gonna tear that ghetto name. Bro. Yeah, Taraji. Oh, boy. But hey, Taraji was really bad, but Taraji. <laughs> they both <laughs> bad. They, even cool. they both bad. Hey, Taraji kind of cool. Taraji, 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 Taraji is the same. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling you, I actually thought this was gonna be a sleeper movie for 2018, but it's a movie I will be glad to have gone to sleep and not seen. <laughs> that didn't even make sense. I already saw it. I wanted a lot more over the top action. I really wanted it to be more like Columbiana or Atomic Blonde. Columbiana. And as always, don't forget, you've seen it here. Bam, baby. Bam. Bam.